Seltra Press and Sircon are two high-performance all-ceramic materials by Dentsply Serona. The matching Seltra Ceram Veneering Ceramic, the universal stains and glaze provides additional aesthetic finishing options. Our top priority is always to achieve fast and safe shade reproduction using a simple workflow. A straightforward monolithic restoration, quick, safe and simple, already provides attractive basic aesthetics. The cutback technique makes further customization in the cutback area possible in just a few steps. And with the fully veneered variant, there will be no limits to the aesthetic possibilities provided. The extra translucent Zircon XT Zirconia material provides a high level of aesthetics with monolithic restorations. All that is required is a final customization with universal stains and glaze. Simply customize the crown body with a bit of pink. Emphasize the enamel ridges with incisal stain I1. And support the incisal area with its mamelon structures with some cream. After stain firing, add high flu universal overglaze to the monolithic restoration. The final shade check against the shade tab confirms the quick and easy shade reproduction with appealing aesthetics. Due to the exceptional light optical properties of Seltra Press, you can achieve excellent aesthetics quality already in a monolithic restoration. Customization with only three universal stains and the final glaze can be carried out quickly and accurately. Customize the mesial and distal ridge areas with incisal stain I1. Then highlight the areas between the mamelons with some violet. and characterize the mamelon structures in the incisal area with cream stain. After stain firing, only high flu universal overglaze is applied across the monolithic restoration. The final shade check against the shade tab confirms the quick and easy shade reproduction with great aesthetics. The cutback technique and Sircon XT offer an excellent opportunity to further improve aesthetics by applying only one incisal material, namely Seltra Ceram Enamel Incisal E1. The mamelon structures were created when designing the framework. Build up the labial and palatal aspects of the enamel layer with enamel E1 and shape them to obtain their final contours. After ceramic firing, finish the shape and surface texture.
With this method, finalization with glaze and stain is achieved in a single step. Paint a fine hem on the incisal edges with cream. Then complete the posterior incisal edge with incisal stain I1. The result, the desired shade color has been matched and the restoration looks live with just one incisal material and some stain. Seltra Press already provides a high level of aesthetics in monolithic mode. Using the cutback technique with just a single incisal material, this aesthetic result can be further enhanced. For this, we use Seltra Ceram Enamel E1. The mamelon structures were created when designing the framework. Build up the labial and palatal aspects of the enamel layer with enamel E1 and shape them to obtain their final contours. After ceramic firing, finish the shape and surface texture. Finalization in this case requires simply a glaze, dispensing with stains altogether. The result, the desired shade color has been matched very closely and the restoration looks live with only one incisal and glaze. In the fully veneered version, Seltra Press offers unlimited top-notch aesthetics. The framework has been designed to reflect the reduced anatomical shape of the restoration. Build up the upper part of the crown with Seltra Ceram Dentin A2 and create delicate mamelon structures. Highlight the incisal edge with enamel opal E04. Emphasize the areas between the mamelons and on the incisal ridges with E04 for more depth effect. Then complete the buildup of the restoration with enamel E1. After the ceramic firing, finish the shape and prepare the restoration for the second layer. Close the interdental spaces both labially and palatally with dentin A2. On the cervical aspect, we use a mixture of enamel effect EE3 and enamel opal E04. Support the mesial and distal ridges with Celta Ceram Enamel Effect EE5. In the central labial area, add a thin layer of the neutral enamel Opal E01. Finalize the incisal edges with Enamel Effect EE6. After the ceramic firing, finalize the shape and create the desired surface texture. The entire surface is glazed with high flu universal overglaze, followed by adding delicate custom features in the incisal areas using cream universal stain. The result, a perfect shade match. The opalescence of the incisal edge supports the natural appearance of the restoration. Circon HT also provides an excellent foundation for bridges in the posterior region. The simple approach to a full veneer presented here yields high quality results quickly and safely. Use Seltra Serum Dentin A2 to complete the basal aspect of the bridge pontic. Place Dentin Effect DE9 Orange in the central occlusal areas of the restoration. Then build up the buccal, labial and occlusal dentin aspects with dentin A2. The 
ridges of the occlusal surfaces are emphasized with Celter Ceram Enamel E4. This makes the occlusal surfaces appear extra vivid in the most translucent areas. Complete the buildup with Enamel E1. In a second ceramic firing, the restoration is finished using only Denton A2 and Enamel E1. Customization with stains was deliberately omitted in this case. The Circon HT restoration is finally glazed with High Flu Universal Overglaze. The result? A restoration that matches the desired target share perfectly. The Seltra Ceram Veneering Ceramic combines Seltra Press and Circon with its different translucency variants into a comprehensive all-ceramic treatment and performance concept. Depending on the desired indication or design, it lets laboratories and dentists provide flexible, safe and fast all-ceramic restorations of the highest quality and with high shade fidelity at that.